Oh, are we down? <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh, hello everyone. <laughs> I am working on demonstrating how to do a night sky using alcohol markers and I am working with the Blick Studio Markers right now. Have you ever wondered how to color a night sky? Well, this is part two of our weekly live event. My name is Jennifer Stay, and I'm with Coloring Bliss. And welcome to our weekly live event. I am so excited to have you here. We are back. We were in Oregon last week. If you caught our live event last week, we were out um, in Oregon. I did a quick live event from our home that we were staying at there in Oregon. I already think of it as our home, although it was just an Airbnb. I want to go back. I wish I was there right now. <laughs> it was so beautiful there and wonderful. I'm wearing a shirt that I bought there. It was in Nesco in Oregon that we were there. We're going to show you some pictures from the um, from the beach there here in a minute because it was just so stunning and inspiring. And in fact, one of the pictures I've drawn I've drawn recently for you guys for coloring um, was inspired by a gate that was right there next to the house, and it um, was just such an inspiring place. I had so much fun. I wish we could go live there, <laughs> but um, we live here in beautiful Utah where um, it's autumn and Halloween is on its way and we have some new Halloween coloring pages for you. I'm sitting here next to a very sleepy Rose, my little Maltese dog. If you hear her snoring, then um, yeah, she is very asleep right now. I think she's very happy that we are back from Oregon. Um, she didn't get to come with us and she missed us. <laughs> yeah, poor little thing. And I've got Steve here with me. He's watching <laughs> over the chat. Yep. We're having a really good time being back and, and visiting with everybody. And it's been fun. We've been reprimanding people for being scared of their new supplies. <laughs> <laughs> There's no we in this. No, you're the one that called him out. She, I tattled on her. Yeah. Because I got in trouble a couple mm. weeks ago. So somebody else had to get in trouble for, <laughs> for saying something unkind about themselves. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really good at getting people to not be unkind about yourself. Be, be good. And speaking of that, I'm so proud of everyone who is participating in Inktober with me. I am about two days behind, but that's okay. Like I've said before, if you get behind on Inktober, it doesn't matter. Just do your best and enjoy the process. It is supposed to be um, a learning thing and a fun thing, and it's supposed to bring you joy and help you grow your skills. So if all of that is happening, then you're on the right track. If you're feeling frustrated and down about yourself and all that, then something's off and you need to reassess your goals. And, and you'll get in trouble from Jennifer. You will get in trouble. I'll come on here and chew you out. So <laughs> don't do that to yourself. Just have fun and make sure you're sharing your art with our group if you'd like to, because I cannot believe how awesome that art is and it's such a supportive, awesome group of people. So we are over on Facebook. What's the name of our group where they can share their art? It's uh, facebook.com slash groups slash coloring pages bliss. Yeah, that's a nice long title. I yeah. wish Facebook would <laughs> fix that. It's because anyway. we used to be called Coloring Pages Bliss and then we rebranded to Coloring Bliss just to shorten it. But we also still have a page called Coloring Pages Bliss, but we also have a group Coloring Pages Bliss. Yeah. Anyway. Sorry. Anyway. It's a little Sorry, it gets, and our YouTube channel is Coloring Pages Bliss yeah. because we don't want to rename it because then we'd have to start all over again. I so, don't want to anyway. do that. That's why it's so confusing. Yeah. Sorry about that. And if you want to follow my Inktober art, I'm posting it on Instagram and on our YouTube page, which is Coloring Bliss. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, lots of fun with Inktober. And I've got some new art that if you would like something to color for Halloween, <clears throat> I've got three brand new pages for you. I'll show that to you really quick before we dive into coloring night skies. If you have ever tried to color a night sky and wondered how to do it, um, I've got some tips for you. We've been talking about it for the last hour over on Facebook. And in this hour, we're going to dive straight in and color this page right here, which is a brand new page that I just finished drawing. It was actually inspired by this page, which I drew for Inktober. 
This was day 15. The word was weak. I did this cute little owl who was looking very tired and weak and needed a place to rest. So I drew this gate, which was inspired. <laughs> Everything was inspired. Inspired by a gate that was right next to the house we were staying in in Nesquin, Oregon. So I took a photo of this image right here and put it into the Procreate app, which is where I do my drawings on my iPad. And I spiced it up and added a whole bunch of darling little cats and a beautiful night sky. And this is the page we're going to be coloring in just a minute. And this is a premium member um, coloring page. So if you don't know about our premium membership, it's just $5 to become a premium member over on my website and you get access to my entire coloring page library, which is over 400 coloring pages, plus there's worksheets and you're supporting me and our business here at Coloring Bliss, where we do tutorials and more art and um, these live events and all kinds of fun stuff. So come on over and support us as a premium member, especially this time of year the holidays I put out a lot of coloring pages and a lot of awesome content so it's a great time to support me as a premium member we've got more art here for you to download as a premium member let's see these are free ones I'll show those to you guys here in a second there's this one is a brand new one also for my premium members Steve and I were giggling we didn't know how this pumpkin ended up in the tree with this owl but it did and it's awesome. So you can color <laughs> a pumpkin up with this owl and another beautiful night sky to practice the things we're going to be learning here in a second. And then this one was inspired by my husband. He did the idea. It was his idea to have, you guys know me, I love drawing my gnomes. So he wanted me to draw a gnome coloring page for you guys. And then it was his suggestion that the gnome be um, dressed up as a ghost because he thought that would be kind of funny. But then the more we thought about it, the more we thought that was a good idea. <laughs> and of course, um, we wanted it to be a husband or a dad that was taking the kids out trick-or-treating. Because um, as I have been getting sicker through the years, it was my husband's um, main responsibility to take our kids out. Now they're too old. But when they were younger, <laughs> he would take them out trick-or-treating. So that's why I drew it this way, because this made me think of my husband and he would patiently take our kids out trick-or-treating and so I think it turned out really cute with the little like he still had his little gnome hat on top of his head underneath the little ghost costume <laughs> oh I just love my gnomes they're just so cute <laughs> oh Taylor's so nice uh gave us two dollars and says I believe in you both so much keep kicking butt oh my goodness thank <laughs> you Taylor that's so sweet of you yay Taylor thank you well, Taylor, here are a couple free coloring pages that you can come and download. This is one of our most popular coloring pages. It's been around for about three years now, and I think we make it free almost every Halloween, and then it goes back into the premium library. So make sure you come and download it now if you're one of my free members. Um, I think we have people who color it every year and do it a little bit different every year. So come and download it and enjoy it. And then this one is still available. So come and download this one. It's also a really fun one for Halloween, Batty for Coloring. So come and get this one too if you're one of our free members. So we've got a little bit of something for everyone. <laughs> one of my favorite YouTube names, Funky Light Tachikawa, <laughs> says I absolutely love the cat coloring page. I have a house full of cats. Oh, so cute. this is perfect then. Are they all the same kind of cat? Because I've been debating. Should each cat be like a black cat or should we have like a tabby cat and like I have a, a Siberian cat so we could have one black cat and one tabby cat long and hair, one long hair, hair and a Siberian and anyway that's what I've been wondering is should they all be different? Yeah. <laughs> and they love the owls, they love the, oh, the pages, they think they're so cute. Oh Beverly, thank you. Oh. Uh, just gave us five dollars. Well, thank you, Beverly. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. It really helps us a lot. Thank you. Adriana says, LOA, I LOA, LOL, <laughs> I just saw the pumpkin on the daddy gnome's hat. So cute. <laughs> Maybe the wife 
Right, as the dad was going out, hurried and stuck the pumpkin up there. You gotta look festive, honey. Look festive, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think Steve and I ever really dressed up. Do you guys dress up for Halloween? We never were really into dressing. No, my siblings do, though. Brother and mm. sister, they would always do awesome costumes and go to parties. You're right. They, they you know, really Every do. year they seem to have something really funny. Yeah, do you guys fun. dress up for Halloween? We don't really do that. The stand has a tabby, a calico, and a torty. Oh, cool. Lots of different kinds. And funky light chachikawa says <laughs> all different colors, long-haired and short-haired. Okay. I think we better do that then. We better make our cat family all-inclusive. <laughs> we <laughs> include everyone. So let me show you what we've been talking about here while we were over on Facebook real quick. We've been talking about how you can use lots of different kinds of products to create your black background. So here we've got color pencil. We've got some water-based products. Here we were using ink tents and a sketching pencil, both of which are um, water soluble. Over here we have pastels. Here it was specifically we were using Pam Pastels. And up here I was playing around with the um, Blick Studio markers here to show you how you can use some markers to build in some depth too. But what we were really, what I'm trying to put across here is you can either just go in with straight black, which is fine, or you can build in some depth, which is better. Now, when you're building in your depth, what you want to do is add some different colors, some different tones into that black night sky, and that will make it kind of more delicious. <laughs> um, it will give you more interest and more something. It will make it feel more, what's the word when it's more harmonious, more cohesive, cohesive to the whole pi um, picture. So if you have a picture that is more autumn toned, um, feeling um, of your page. The background is a great place to bring in some of those tones that you've already been using in the rest of your picture. So if you've got some fall leaves or a pumpkin, you can use those undertones into the background of the black and have it be more um, cohesive. I'm gonna have a hard time with that word. And give it more dimension and just make it more yummy of a background. Oh, thank you, Roberta. She just gave us $10. Oh, Roberta, thank you, you guys. Oh, my goodness. That's you guys so are nice. so sweet. It really means a lot to us. Well, these donations really help our business a lot. Thank you so much. And wow. um, there are a lot who dress up for Halloween. Oh, cool. Do you guys have plans already? <laughs> <laughs> and, and we have uh, a few people who've talked about uh, coloring, the challenge of coloring black cats. And so some have said like they'll have uh, cats that have like the tuxedo pattern or. Well, that's an interesting thought. Um, with white stripes. Uh, um, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that might be something to consider. If there. we have time, we could just do cats. We, maybe what we'll do is we'll work on the sky first since that's kind of the title of the, of the video. And then if we have time, we can um, work on the cats. And Amy says that she's a little stuck on the Inktober swollen prompt, the word swollen. She says, I wish they did funner prompts. Yeah, um, the Inktober prompts, I think he gets the guy, whatever his name is, I can't think of his name right now. Every year he gets um, a lot of grief. Is that a good word? Oh, he yeah. gets a lot of grief for his prompts. People really, oh, can you imagine? You would, you could never. You could make never make happy. everybody happy. I remember last year for 2017, I was actually quite happy with the prompts last year, and I remember being on Instagram and hearing everybody just, they were be mean to him about the prompts. Why didn't he do this and that and this and that? And I was like, oh brother, you know. But this year, I kind of with you. I'm the prompts have been like swollen. All I can yeah, think of a, is like a pregnant woman's belly or inappropriate things. Well, and, was, <laughs> and was it Lona, was it Lona, 
I can't remember if it was you who I think I saw in our group did a broken ankle because she like broke her leg. Yeah. Or I don't know if that was you or, or somebody else just happened to do that one, but yes. yeah, you think of that like a like you get hurt and then well, and a lot of them, or a lot of them like have been to <clears throat> me have been triggering a lot of negative imagery, um, like the word weak and yeah. cruel. And like a lot yeah. of negative things, and I'm like, oh, I, I, I was hoping for more. Like, I don't know, but he could yeah. never. I mean, I'm sure if he did all positive things, they would all be. What are you Pollyannaing everybody and trying to make everybody happy and blah blah blah. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe <laughs> next year I should do the Bliss Inktober prompt list, <laughs> and they can all be positive. Pollyanna words, all approved by Jennifer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm I've been struggling with some of the words, and and I honestly, that's partly why I'm a little bit behind, because I looked ahead at the next words, and I'm like, oh, I just just a, not inspiring you. Yeah, and yeah. then of course I was drawing for you guys for Halloween, and I was having much more fun drawing little cats with mice running around and owls and with pumpkins and trees. <laughs> so that was much more inspiring to me so i'm with you anyway back to night sky so um uh, we have all these things that we've done and i'm still my favorite thing that i've been doing is this right here um does anybody object if i just go back to the thing that that i love doing which is right now i'm just really all about this wet um the derwent mediums are they okay if i do this for my night sky steve are they gonna throw me out if i do this um i highly doubt they will throw you out will they throw me out if i just do the thing that i'm like loving right now and i'm like <laughs> making it so they can't say no will they just hate me forever if i do that <laughs> what is it there's like an, uh, a way of arguing if you put yourself in a position where if the other person says no they're a bad guy <laughs> That's what I'm doing to you guys right now. <laughs> so I don't know who said it first, but they have they've coined it Blisstober. Blisstober. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I kind of so like we, that because awesome. we could use all bliss terminology and yeah. and we could be colorful and not just inky and yeah, that's maybe a great next idea. year we'll do Blisstober, and it could be coloring pages and. And Yolanda did point out that she thinks he's trying to get people out of their comfort zone oh, and push yeah, their limits sure. and stuff. And it works. I mean, have I mean, look how cool this is. This part of Inktober, we're so getting off track. And I apologize. About you know, about a week after I post these YouTube videos, I get people who come on to our videos. Your title says you were going to do this, and it wasn't until minute 20 that you actually started doing what you said you were going to do. <laughs> so I apologize to you, Henri person, who's watching right now and saying, get to the point. <laughs> <laughs> my video, my content. Okay. <laughs> but look how cool this is about Inktober. Okay. About halfway in, when you start looking at your sketchbook, have you done this yet? So if you ever dis if you haven't done Inktober and you decide to do this one of these days, do a challenge like this. Look how cool this is when you get halfway in and you can look at your sketchbook and it's half full. And it's half full of your own art. It doesn't even have, like, some of these I really don't like. Well, that's wrong. Some of these I, I'm okay with. I'm like, eh, it's okay. It's not my best work. Like the star one, it's just, it's just a doodle. I mean, it's cool because it's flashy, but it's just a doodle. It's not like, wow, you know, like this one I'm quite proud of with my little lighthouse. Ooh, we should show them pictures of why that's... Yeah, th there's things in here I'm really quite proud of. <clears throat> but what's what makes me proud is that it's half full of stuff I did. 
that is really cool. So if you ever decide to do any kind of challenge like this, it's like when you're coloring in a coloring book and you start to fill up all the pages and you start looking back and you're like, holy cow, I've colored every page in this book or half the pages in this book. There is such a sense of accomplishment and it just feels so good. You guys know, so cool. So I really encourage you, even if you don't think you're an artist, I really encourage you to try a challenge like this because it's such a sense of accomplishment when you start filling up these pages and you're just like, holy cow, I'm doing this. So cool. Even if you get a couple days behind, doesn't matter. So oh, cool. I like Tammy's idea. She says, let's do, let's do Bliss, Bliss member or Bliss Tober for next month. That would be really fun. Oh, oh no, Bliss member. That's why she did Bliss, Bliss member. Bliss member. Because we could do it in November. Oh, that's really creative. Oh, I like that. Or we could do it in December or... Or you know what we should do is like in January or February when everybody's in like the blahs after the holidays and everybody's like, oh, the holidays are over. We could do bliss. You wary. <laughs> bliss wary. Bliss you wary. Yeah. <laughs> we'll think about it. We'll, we'll keep, as, we'll keep thinking fluff about the tongue it. tongue as well. That's okay. We're 20 minutes in for you, Henri person who says she didn't get started until 20 minutes in. You're right. I didn't. But we're getting started now. All right. <laughs> <You're so funny. laughs> I'm going to use um, Derwent Sketching Dark Wash because it gives you the most pigment. I did a nice long soliloquy about pigment over on Facebook, so go watch that. But the that's the difference between the light, medium, and dark is the dark has more pigment. So we'll get more bang for every buck, swipe buck, swipe buck here. So what we're going to do is try to create the night sky behind all these stars. Now, if I were to do this real time, we'd be here for a couple hours. So I'm going to like pick an area. That's I think my best bet here. We're not going to finish this whole thing tonight, but I want to finish enough that you get an idea. We don't need to do the whole thing is what I'm saying. But I want to show you enough. <laughs> Are they laughing at me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm laughing at the angry YouTuber. <laughs> They're picturing this angry YouTuber out there. Oh, you know you're out there. Right now, you're, you're giving me a thumbs down. Right now, I know you are. <laughs> okay, this is Carl. Say hi to Carl, angry YouTuber. <laughs> Okay, we're not going to sharpen this pencil all the way, only partly. And Carl, the reason I'm sharpening this pencil is to expose more of the lead so it's easier to pull off the graphite. That's the only reason I needed to sharpen it. There wasn't much of it exposed. Okay, thank you, Carl. Okay, make sure I've got lots of water in the bristles. Squeeze it gently so it's got lots of water. And we're just going to touch right on to the tip, just like that. Maybe you could zoom down for me, Steve, okay. so they can watch. And we're just going to fill in the night sky. This goes so fast. Funky Light mentioned or brought uh, made a good point that doing it right after you know, Christmas and the holidays would give a good reason to use all the new coloring supplies. Oh, that's a good point, too. Yeah. And then we could ask for more coloring supplies because we're getting ready for Blissery. <laughs> it's a terrible name. <laughs> <laughs> um, if we do it in January, yeah, it would have to be Blissery. <laughs> Blissuary. Blissuary. Yeah, yeah, it sounds There's like, like a few of them there. Blissuary uh, sounds like a, a bad. Um, Blissuary. Like you're having a bad um, a medical condition. Medical or condition, <laughs> like a an examination of a private area. <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> if we're gonna discuss a name of something that we're going to be doing we got to be careful what name we pick yeah we'll have to come up with something uh something else we'll have to keep brainstorming that okay so what i'm doing is touching down where 
the first time I touch down, I have the most amount of pigment on my brush tip, right? Then as I brush out, water is coming down and wicking into the tip and brushing out the pigment and lightening it up. So you think about that as you're going. Touch down, it's dark, and brushing it out and getting lighter. So I'm trying to create sort of a shadow underneath the gate and then making it shadow out into the middle. That's the idea here, what I'm doing. So you get quite a bit when you first touch down. And then we'll blend it out. And we are working with something that's going to look a little like watercolor, so we don't have to be too careful because watercolor at its best looks loose, right? The, the watercolor pieces most of us love the most look really loose. The other thing you want to remember is we're working with um, paper that is not watercolor paper, right? So the less fussing we do, the better. So we don't hurt the paper. Patty likes a blissful Christmas month. Um, Funky Light says New Year bliss. Oh. Michelle says, you two need a show. I can write it. <laughs> <laughs> Rose says, blissful wintry coloring. Oh, I like that too. Oh, I like that. Ashley says, if you did it after the holidays to combat the blues and blahs, you could call it blissful blues or something along those lines. Yeah. Well, these are great ideas. And, and Gabriel um, says, hi, both of you. It's Gabriel. Gabriel. In the UK, my sky is full of stars. It's 2.30 a.m. Oh, okay. So you can go outside. Is this Gabrielle? Yeah, Gabrielle. Gabrielle. I want, if your sky is, is truly a starry sky, I want you to go outside for us and look at the sky and tell me if it's just plain black. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us what colors you see in the sky itself. Tina says, Jennifer Love Bliss. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you guys are so creative. Oh my goodness. Okay, look how cute this is looking. Now we got an area that's gotten a little heavy handed and a little bit almost dirty looking right here. Don't be afraid of areas like this because as you get more details in the cat and the stars and the gate, all of this kind of thing is going to fall to the back and it won't be so predominant. Also, we're going to add some of those cool speckles that we did right here. Remember our fun little speckles? So that will also take the eye away. And we're going to add some more, um, a tint of color too. So we've got lots of work to do. Don't be afraid of little things that happen as you go along. Don't be afraid. Amy says, I mean, it's pretty dark here too, Jennifer. Hello. <laughs> it is dark That's outside. True. It's 730. And yeah, we're not used to being dark right now. We're getting into the... I hadn't even looked outside. Are you kidding me? I've been focused on my page here and we've got our studio lighting on so it's like broad daylight in here right now <laughs> and gabrielle says okay give me a minute okay Should good check. patty says a winter bliss oh that's kind of simple or uh, someone said uh january <laughs> <gasps> ah january bliss yeah that's good i like that is it really like um prideful to name it after myself <laughs> it's kind of like naming that um blending to blending thing after myself jennifer's rule of blending thirds i've always felt like that was a little <laughs> self-serving to name it after myself <laughs> what else are you gonna name it though uh, let's see kelly says happy new bliss Oh. Angela loves your nails. Oh, thank you. Oh, we have this new fish in our house that my son, who's 14, oh, almost 14, he um, really wanted this new fish. Anyway, it's a very interactive fish, and he's as he's getting older, 
keys even more interactive. So I went up to the glass with my new nail, this nail here, and I um, looked to see what he would do. So I started dragging my nail across the, <laughs> and his colors started to change. This is the kind of fish he is. His colors started to change like he was angry at my fingernail and came at my finger and was following my finger back and forth like, ah, I'm gonna get you. It was awesome. Okay. okay. Ashley says, here in Indianapolis, Indiana, it's very dark. With okay. hints of deep blue and grayish <gasps> white clouds that almost blend into the sky. So cool. So deep blue. Maybe that's yeah. what we should do here. Yvonne says, the sky is various shades of blue and half moon that is beige. Oh, cool. Oh, you guys are so awesome. Isn't it inspiring? <clears throat> Who would have thought? I know when I did a, whenever I've done a, like a, Oh, uh, time lapse type of thing of the sky at night. Yeah. I'm always amazed at how much blue there is. Yeah. So much more than what we ever imagine. And I think that's why um, it's so important for us to observe as artists, as an artist, you, you are an artist. You need to observe all the time when you're outside, in your house, all around, all the time. Start looking at these kinds of things because you're going to see how you can make your coloring have so much more depth and make it look so much more interesting just by observing. So Angela says, I smell a skunk. Too scared to go outside. Oh, yes. stars. Don't, don't. No, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> Marilyn likes winter bliss. Oh, That's a yeah. nice one. Um, okay. Oh, I keep saying her name. Gabrielle. Gabrielle says, <laughs> I looked. There are dark inky blues and creamy <gasps> yellows around the buildings. Oh, so cool. Okay, so we need to get out blue. A dark inky blue. Everybody keeps saying they're seeing blues. Okay, this is like, uh, this is the small set of ink tents that I took with me to Oregon. And uh, it has very limited blues. So let's see what we've got here. And then uh, we've had a couple people ask again about the um, tools this, you're using. Okay, just... I think this is going to be the blue here. We've got this blue. Oh, yeah, sorry. We've got this what I'm using is a water brush. That one's brighter. It's kind of a generic one, right? Yeah, this is like, like I've said before, don't buy the cheapest water brush because those tend to not work great. Buy something mid-range. You don't need the most expensive, something mid-range. Um, I, you know, they all kind of start being the same. I think they're coming from the same company, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, that's a good blue. Um, you want a good one that has a good cap, especially if you try traveling with it. You want a good cap that snaps on really good. And then it's all about the valve right here. You can buy really cheap ones that don't have a good valve. That's the problem with the cheap <coughs> ones. So a mid-range one, it's going to give you a good valve and it'll probably have a good cap. And that's really all you need. You know, a really expensive one. I. I've not been that much more impressed. So mid-range one works fine. So I picked Deep Indigo 1100 is what I ended up picking. Let's see how it goes. So, so far all we've used is the Derwent Sketching. See that little symbol right there on any Derwent product. If it has that symbol, it means it's water soluble. Dark Wash 8B. And now we're using Derwent Ink Tent. See, same symbol right there. Deep Indigo 1100. I love that about the Derwent products. They do have some really good consistent labeling on their products. Okay. Your drawing reminds Gabrielle of uh, Christmas. So what about Catmas, she says. <laughs> oh, it would be fun to do like an all cat. Um, I know there's, oh, what's her name? I can't think of what her name is, but she's doing an all cat inktober. Like all of her drawings are cats. Oh, that was really dark. Okay, spread fast, 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 fast. 
Aww. Vicky just came in, asked if you drew the picture. Yes, she did, uh, Vicky. Also, are you just touching your water brush to a watercolor pencil? Yes. <clears throat> I'm doing that to um, control the amount of pigment. <laughs> She laughs loudly as she got too much blue on her coloring paint. <laughs> um, but yes, I, I'm just squeezing my brush so that I know there's water in the bristles. I can see little bubbles of water going down into the bristles. Hopefully you can see that a little bit. So I know that my bristles are nice and wet. And of course, the, the valve will also feed you water into the bristles, but it kind of goes slow sometimes. And then I just touch onto the tip, and you can see the pigment getting onto the tip of your bristles as you do this. And then um, that controls the amount. If you're careful, <laughs> it will control the amount. I've had a couple <clears throat> people say, how about rose you wear? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Ollie came in late, but he says, I notice your art is changing. Nice. Loving it. Oh, cool. I'm trying to um, try different styles. Um, I like to give you guys a variety. Plus, it keeps me interested in my own art. Dan mentions that he likes how the rule of three has helped. Oh, good. Yeah, that blending rule of threes. Jennifer's blending rule of threes. Not that I really, I mean, I presented it, <clears throat> in, so I get to name it, right? But, right? but it is a rule that is pretty common in the art world, so. Tiffany says, hi, Jennifer. I just got my full, my full set of mermaid markers. Oh. I, too, suffer from FSS. <laughs> what do you think of those using those for a night sky? Yeah, those would be great. I was actually thinking about cracking those out tonight, but I um, decided to go to my strengths. These are the things I've been using a lot of. Look how pretty this is turning out. Oh, it's just so pretty. I like leaving. It's amazing how even leaving white areas helps in a night sky. Angela says, I got my swatch books and love, love, love them. Awesome. I still, I was wondering about doing a swatch marathon sooner than later. Patty likes blistery winter. Ooh. That's interesting. One problem with calling it something winter is <clears throat> our people me. on the other hemisphere that are in summertime, they might yeah. be a little confused. Or not confused, but feel left out. Tatriana asked if his fish was a Siamese fighting fish. Uh, no, it's a flower horn. I don't know if you've ever seen those, but they're very colorful and weird funny looking they are funny looking they have um, a lot of character you can only have one because they're very aggressive and and they have to be in a, a large tank because they get quite big like yeah, eight like to eight 12, to 12 inches, inches, yeah. depending on how they grow okay this is looking really good i'm going to do just this area here with the tint of blue and then we'll call this area good and we'll move on to the stars um, Let's see, Sonia says, where would I buy a water brush and can you use any pencil crayon with the water brush? Water brushes you can get at almost any store. Blick, um, Michaels. Um, Amazon. Amazon has them. Um, I, think, I think this one that I've got in my hand right now came in a pack of two or three with different size bristles. Um like Derwent has their own water brushes even. I think all of them have their own water brushes now. Um, so yeah, just... And is it only the water-soluble oh, pencils yeah. that they work with? Only that, the like, water-soluble. that soluble. technique works with? Yeah. And it's any water-soluble or watercolor pencil? Right? Yeah, any water-soluble pencil you can do the same thing. I could have actually colored straight down and then activated the coloring with my brush like you can color straight down like this like that and then use your water brush and activate it like this if you want to but you can see how sometimes the lines stay behind and 
Um, but it's another technique and I do this quite often too. But with the night sky, I wanted it to have more of a watercolor feel and have a lot of control over exactly where the pigment is going and have more of a wash type feel. So doing it this way seems to be working really good for me. Although I keep doing that. So we keep getting areas where there's a lot of blue, but that's okay. Tayani says, make the season of bliss after the holidays. I oh. like that one. Some really good ideas on here. We'll have to be sure to go back afterwards and Hopefully write some of them down. YouTube will save them for us. I guess you could be writing them down. Yeah, you, it usually saves them. It's <clears throat> This little square right here is extra blue. Oh, sorry, I was out of frame. <laughs> Vicky says, oh no, what are mermaid markers? I don't need any more toys, lol. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't show them to you right now. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> okay. All right, we got um, some good background going. I am loving it. I do want some speckles on here, though, and I'm going to do some blue speckles and some gray speckles. So the way we're going to do that is make sure the bristles are extra wet and touch on to the tip of this brush get lots and lots loaded up and then just tap 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 and you see the speckles start to appear try to avoid the moon I think what I'll do to avoid the moon as much as possible is just lay my paper towel over the moon Kelly asked uh do you know the brand of that water brush i think this was the consumer crafts or what what what, what? i don't know it might be in here oh yes crafter's companion right here crafter's companion it came in a three-piece set these were a little bit pricey to be honest. I think you got those on, was that on Amazon? No. Oh. This was this website. Oh, on Crafter's Companion site. Yeah. Yeah. But it came with three in a package. But these have been great. So if you could get a good deal on them, don't buy them full price. You guys know me. I was always say, get it with a coupon. Okay, a little bit more speckles, speckles, speckles. When you do speckles like this with a water brush, remember it's always feeding water to the tips. So your speckles are gonna get more and more diluted the more you tap. Just a little heads up. See, Lib there's still plenty of <clears throat> pigment, but they get more diluted. Libby asked, do you prefer the Derwent sketching pencil to a Derwent black colored pencil? The sketching one is water soluble. That's the difference. Okay, and we want a few gray. Did that answer your question? Do I prefer I think, them? It's just a different creature. Yeah, I think so. Morticia says, I have an old Sakura Koi water brush. It still works really great. It's yeah. in size fine, and I use it very often. I only have a couple that have had a problem. Sometimes the tips fray on me. Mia Bear 24 likes the intense. Yeah, so pretty. Uh, Lori just came in and was asking what color you're using. So we used um, Deep Indigo 1100 and the Derwent Sketching Pencil, which is a water soluble graphite dark wash 8B. Those are the two that we've used so far. Marilyn loves this technique and will definitely be trying it. <laughs> Look how pretty. Okay. Morticia has the Kuretake water brush and really likes them. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones. I mean, yeah, you'll see this <clears throat> particular body being sold by a lot of different companies. That's why I think it's probably coming in from China, just being repackaged and sold under different names. You know, this exact body right here. So, yeah. Okay, so we were going to do either cats or, or stars. Stars, um, I really like how I did the moon on this one here. Let me show you. All I did for this moon was a very, very light wash using 
the exact same technique I just showed you and this yellow sun yellow 0200 same exact technique and I think it turned out really pretty on this moon here so if you want like a really light just a kind of like they were saying if you go look out at the moon tonight it's probably just a very soft halo of a moon that's all I did for that moon so you could do that kind of look um, on the moon of course you could stylize your moon and just go to town with some really sparkly gel pens I've got here my beloved sparkle pop gel pens um, which I've got the gold which look how low it's getting <laughs> <laughs> I've got my gold, which, you know, you, the stars themselves could just be done really quick and easy with a sparkle pop like that. Bada boom, bada bang, and you've got some stars with the sparkle pop. That's probably the fastest way, right? Look how fun and easy, and I think some of your gel pens have a bit of a translucency so those speckles that we laid down are going to show up through there a little bit so that would be fun but look at that sparkle pop sparkle oh, oh, oh so pretty so that's one way to do your stars and your moon depending on the look you want i mean i've got all kinds of gel pens we could dive into but that's one way to do it Carol says, hello everyone, I'm Carol from SoCal. I love your teachings, Jennifer. Hello, welcome. Kira Lee says, you're quite the enabler. I just got myself a set of 100 Cali Art markers. Ooh, Cali Arts are awesome. You're going to love them. And Ollie says, I just brought, bought some Crayola watercolor pencils because I'm just a beginner. This is going to be a great tutorial for me. Yeah, the watercolor pencils will work with these really good. If you just have a plain brush and dip into water, you can do exactly the same thing too. Um, and sometimes even a water, a brush dipped into water will work better than the water brush, these brushes here. So I have both um, and I go back and forth. Sometimes I prefer this, sometimes I prefer the other. So try both and see what you prefer. Okay, what else? Oh, we were going to do a cat. We have a little kitty kitty. Let's do some Christmas colors for the kitty. Wee. Morticia likes the Artezas for good larger or for larger areas. Uh, the color pencils. That would be fun. And Funky Light says Pudge, an orange and white tabby, approves of this page. He keeps crawling onto the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do an orange tabby, don't you think? I think Morticia may have been talking about the Arteza water brush. So oh, the yeah. The complete with all size, yeah. Oh, yeah, those Arteza water brush um, pens are so neat. Let's see, is that too orange for a tabby cat? Let's find something a little not so orangey. Tabbies are more, maybe that. Looks like Mia Bear likes the Spectrum Noir markers. Oh, cool. The stand says, weird, here in Canada, Crafter's Companion is pretty cheap. Oh, yeah, cool. That's awesome. We don't hear that very often. Poor Canada. You guys always seem to get um, where it's so expensive there. I'm glad to hear you guys have something that's not as expensive. Here is a, one of my tritones. I think this is the, let's see, yeah, this is the orange tritone set. Let's go for that. Put this away. Okay, maybe Steve can share the tritone link. Um, and let's make this one a tabby, because he's all, oh no, we need to keep him over here, because that's where we've been doing the night sky. Okay. Ollie says, I have some paint brushes, not a water brush. Can I work with that? Oh, yeah. That'll work really good. Um, water brushes are just really convenient if you're traveling um, or working at your recliner. You don't have to have a separate bowl. But, um, like I was saying, this is always feeding water. Always feeding water. And so you can it will dilute your color really fast. And then sometimes this isn't feeding water. All of a sudden it'll stop. And then you're like, ah, oh, I need more water. And then you have to squeeze. And then you get too much water. And ah! But a brush, sometimes you have better control. And if you know how to use a brush, then yeah, it's a better situation. So, yeah. Morticia uh, asked... Uh... Derwent ink tents are water-soluble and dried. Are they water-resistant? 
uh, when dried, they should be permanent. We had a small discussion about this over on Facebook. Um, the problem with ink tents, pencils, and depending on them to be permanent once they are dry is that, right, where's my sample? <clears throat> where's my sample? Right here. Okay, you see right here. This is some ink tense pencil that I hit with water and do you see how there's still some strokes left over from where I've activated it? So out here where it's dried, this is gonna be permanent. But there is a chance that in these strokes there is still pigment that hasn't been activated with water. So if I hit this with water again, there's a chance that some of this will be activated. So um, yeah, that is a problem with ink tents. Um, when you go over it for your second layer, sometimes some of this stray pigment will be reactivated and it can be frustrating. So you need to be aware of that as you're working with it. Okay, I'm just drawing some random spots on our cute little tabby cat here. I Denny. think tabbies have spots. Do they have spots, Steve? <laughs> oh. I don't know. Denny um, Mine does. <laughs> pointed out in the latest email from Blick, they announced refills for their markers. Someone mentioned that in our group, and I hadn't, I forgot, I think we went on our trip, or we were on our trip, and I didn't have time to go look. And Polly has asked, is it cold enough for a sweatshirt there? I'm wondering why you're wearing a sweatshirt. <laughs> I actually ran our air conditioning, and we have a separate unit for this room. And right before we went live, I said to Steve, I'm running our, our AC in here. <laughs> To get it really cold so I can wear my Nescoin Oricon tea, my sweatshirt. <laughs> and I am so hot. <laughs> I think, are my cheeks really red? Yeah, I turned on the fan for you <laughs> above. <laughs> but I really wanted to wear my new sweatshirt for you guys. Speaking of that, while I'm coloring my little tabby cat, will you show them... The picture oh, of yeah. where we went we're almost out of time but I want to show you guys the lighthouse and I'm so proud of myself I don't remember how many 100 and something steps I had to hike oh yeah I was like I can't remember Where's either my pin okay and then you get to the top I got to the top they would let you stop halfway to the top to catch your breath okay but before you even start I had to stand and listen to the girl do her like 40 minute long spiel about uh, the workers of the lighthouse so i had already been standing for so long and then they have you hike the spiral stairs steve will show you to get to the top so you get to look out of the lighthouse to see the top of the lighthouse it was such a cool experience but because we were at sea level i was able to do it my heart let me do it i'm so proud of myself and then you get to the top and if you donate a dollar you can have a pin that says you survived the climb and i'm so proud of this pin i'm so proud because i did it you guys just don't those of you who are sick you understand but i cannot do that i can't climb my own stairs i can't shower without sitting in my shower that's how hard my heart has to work here in utah but at sea level i got to climb the stairs of a lighthouse it was a miracle literally a miracle so steve is loading up pictures so he can show you this lighthouse and he'll tell you about the pictures oh well, nancy I... says her nephew lives in nesco oh <gasps> no way well we were just there see I was just there <laughs> and it's yep. gorgeous oh my goodness it's such an amazing place so Steve will show you pictures while I color my tabby cat with spots I hope tabby cats have spots mine does so Steve inspire them with our trip okay let's see <laughs> oh it's not linked up yet if I can he's trying to make it link up anyway let me show you my tabby cat with spots because my tabby cat has spots I'm trying to give them a little dimension here. I'm using, um, oh, they gave me heck last time for not telling the numbers. This is PC1002 yellowed orange and um, PC1033 mineral orange and PC140 eggshell. Those are the colors I'm gonna use to create my tabby cat. And I'm just giving a little shading under his belly. 
Okay. Let's see. Slideshow. Oh, he's going to do a slideshow and Let's show see. you guys. Let's see. We do it as a slideshow. He's going to make you guys some coloring pages out of some of these images. We'll see. On some of them, some of them might be kind of hard. Yeah, some, you know, not all pictures will make good um, coloring pages. Yeah, I don't know if any of them that I did here I was thinking, but anyway, we'll see. Okay, let's add this. Oh, it's a cute little tabby cat. Oh, that is cute. I'll just keep coloring. Okay. You inspire them. Okay. This was the Otis Cafe we stopped at on our way from Portland down to Neskowin. Mm -hmm, Somebody... I couldn't make it any farther. We were like 10 minutes outside of Neskowin and I was like, I gotta stop. That was a really nice little cafe. There's Jennifer and Carter. We went with our son Carter. All right. Come on. Move along, pitcher. <laughs> they did one picture. That's all. They're like, we really want them to see Otis Cafe. It was the best part of the okay, whole trip. The select more. <laughs> <laughs> and there is when we got to Nesco in. We went out and had to look at the beach. Because oh, that was fast. that was Carter's first time ever seeing the beach or the ocean. Yeah, it was amazing. It's proposal rock out there. That's where we did that one quick live event for you guys. Yeah, that was fun. And that's a wider view of Nesco and Beach. There's Proposal Rock again. It was all overcast and rainy like it normally is in the Pacific Northwest when we got there. So But then a wonderful. couple days later, we brought with us the sun. Some of you may remember Matthew. That's my little nephew. It's been on our channel before. He uh, he was with us. My it was my side of the family. Proposal rock. So I had to pretend like I was proposing again. <laughs> <laughs> you shared that one. That was hilarious. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, this was down by the the uh, ya Yaquina Lighthouse that Jennifer. That's you're gonna see here in a minute. Um, by Newport, Oregon, there on the coast. Just gorgeous. You can see it's sunny now. So we got there and we brought with us the sunshine. Yeah. And they, one of the guys in Neskowin was telling us that he's been there two years and it's like the best weather he's seen like in a row continuously. It was pretty much from Tuesday through Saturday. Yeah. Over there it was all nice and sunny. I was almost sad because I was like looking forward to rain <laughs> and it was all sunny and I was like, where did our rain go? Oh, it was nice and cool. Yeah, it was cool, but I There's wanted more rain. My, my nephew took that picture from, they climbed this hill and that's the lighthouse down there. You'll recognize that in Jennifer's That's drawing. the drawing I yeah. did. And for There's the stairs she's talking about. Those are the climbed? stairs I climbed. Yeah, so it, was it was really it's hard. It's like 170 stairs or something. Like that. It was really hard, but I did it. My sister took this great picture at the top, did a, a nice panorama so... of the, you know, that's the light for the lighthouse. It's still a working lighthouse. Yeah, that's still like a real lighthouse with the light going on it and everything. Yeah. This was a really cool beach. Um, so I took this at Cobble Beach and the waves over time have just made these rocks all around. You know, it's like polished them and, and uh, the waves come crashing in. And then when they go out, it sounds just like a rain stick. If you've ever taken a rain stick and turned it upside down, it's really loud right there. And it sounds just like a rain stick. It's so cool. It was the strangest, coolest thing. And those rocks were so neat, too. There's another view of the lighthouse in Cobble Beach down there. <laughs> There's, uh, we went down to uh, Nye Beach in Newport. And uh, we're playing in the, in the water. It was really fun. Nice and cold. And there's Jennifer getting wet. Yep was awesome look at me on my feet yeah 
having a great time. Very happy. There you are again. Very happy. Am I happy? I'm happy. Oh, I've got my pin on. Happy. I was so proud. And That's I'm right. still on my feet. I was a this miracle. This was at the Tillamook factory. And Jen had this really cool chair you'll be learning about sometime. But uh, my little niece loved it <laughs> when, oh, she, she, when she went for a ride one time pretty much through the entire the uh, Tillamook the... factory she had to be on Jennifer's lap on that chair so that was a good deal for both of them Jennifer got to snuggle with the cute little niece it was good for her uh, parents as well because they didn't have to worry about her she was just going around the factory with Jen yeah there she is again we went to another lighthouse <laughs> Kate Mears lighthouse and uh Silly nephews and, and little niece there around Jennifer. There's Matthew again. We told him he needs to do another video on his channel. We were going to help him there. We just didn't have time. Well, then we went for a walk down to, uh, on the other side on Nesquan Beach, um, on the other side of Proposal Rock, there's a forest there called Ghost. They call it the Nesquan Ghost Tree Forest. Um... I or was, ghost for us. I was telling them a little bit about that on the, the live event last Wednesday. Yeah, the sand uncovered that. Well, anyway, there's on these tree stumps, you know, of course, there's all kinds of marine life. So the when the tide is low, you can see these these fossilized tree stumps. And there were these amazing star sea stars and mollusks and all that stuff on them. Those are the tree stumps that you can see. If the tide's high, you don't see them. It goes out, you see them. There's Proposal Rock. There's another sea star. So cool. I didn't get to do that walk because I was too tired after yeah, doing the lighthouse. Long, long walk. <laughs> and it was at sunset. So there's a shot I took at sunset. There's me and Carter. Same place. There's the other side of Proposal Rock at sunset. This is when Jen and I, I think I took this the night you did that impromptu live Facebook live event. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> there's, a good, there's a good example of kind of the night sky and how blue and yeah. fading to the beautiful sunset colors. That's a beautiful picture. And there's, uh, we went down to Kowanda, I think Cape Kowanda. Um, that was really fun. But anyway, this Jennifer and... Carter out sitting on some rocks by the the waves. So Carter and I went That's where we saw those dory boats, huh? Yeah, the dory boats. Those that was a lot of fun. They really interesting. But anyway. Alright. Very cool. Thanks for sharing, Steve. <laughs> so I missed all of your your uh, comments because I was doing that, but See if you can catch up a little bit. I've been coloring. I finished my little tabby cat. I added green eyes. I used um, grass green PC909 for the green eyes of my little tabby cat. And I'm coloring this little black cat here in the middle, which I'm really loving because it's making the, the sky, the night sky, really pop and I'm liking it because also because the black of the cat really pops makes it look extra black so just use straight up black on this cat nothing special but I do think I'm going to give him green eyes too because I'm loving the green just really lightly green there I like that green their noses need something too Maybe a little pink. Is Mishka's nose pink, Steve? I can't remember. Yeah, it is. We'll do a little pink. I've got this. Joan says your tabby is looking pink. a little more like a calico. Yeah, I think I went calico. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little deco pink for the nose. What I would do next probably is I would take uh, my phone out and I would probably bring up pictures of cats with cool patterns on them and then that would give me some good um, lines and different patterns to look at um, so I could get some good um, 
color variation in the other cats. I'm just outlining really lightly with my black um, pencil the spots on my um, little calico. We'll call them a calico cat now. <laughs> um, so that the spots will pop a little bit more. Oh, Mia Bear 24 sounds like uh, she lives on Vancouver Island. Oh. <clears throat> um, says too much rain, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. I Like I said, I wished I had experienced just a wee bit more rain. <laughs> okay. I'm liking where we're at. I think I will stop there because it's past our 8 o'clock time to stop here. And little Rose is awake, too. Hi, Rosie. Did you want to say hi to everybody? I think she wants to say hi to you guys. She <laughs> missed us while we were gone. Oh, it was so sad, yeah. Yeah, you know, there was one day she thought, I think she thought I was in my bedroom. The door was closed while my, my son, was, my oldest son was here taking care of the house and taking care of her. And he had left her here for just a little while. But I think she thought I was in my bedroom and my bedroom door was closed. So she kind of attacked the door frame <laughs> and attacked the carpet right in front of the door. And yeah, it's wounded now. We'll have to replace the carpet and do some <laughs> fixing of the door frame. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. We understand. Huh? So I hope you guys learned some stuff for about night skies and coloring cats. What do you think of my black cat? Oh, it's nice. I really like how the night sky is turning out. And I think it will be even better when if you had all this, the stars oh, yeah. done and the moon done. I think it would be really cool. So I would love to see what you guys end up doing. And go post it in our group. Keep up the good work with Inktober. We will keep brainstorming some sort of bliss month. I think it's a really great idea. We could do something as a group. Yeah, I think it would be, a be lot of really, fun. really fun. And we can all have a, and at the end, we'll all have some sort of something that we can all yeah. hold and say, we did this together. And it would be positive. And maybe we could all vote on the prompts. So you guys won't all be complaining if I come up with. 30 prompts that you guys all hate <laughs> we can all hate each other for the 30 prompts <laughs> but i think that would be fun is there any last tammy, minute tammy had asked when we were at tillamook if we tried squishy cheese i don't remember that's the very first cheese the curds oh yeah that's squishy cheese oh yeah that was really They're good squeaky cheese i always or, grew up I calling squishy? it squeaky cheese squishy does she call it squishy? Yeah, it was I, really I good. grew up calling it squeaky cheese. And I remember when I was, I think my son's age, my youngest son's age, we went through Oregon and stopped at Tillamook before, like that was what, like 30, 30, yeah. 30 years ago. And I remember my dad like getting us a big bag of squeaky <laughs> cheese and then driving. I think we were headed to my grandma's. She lived in Seattle. And we had gone up the coast, and then we were going to Seattle. And he sat there eating squeaky cheese all the way up to Seattle. <laughs> I remember that very vividly. <clears throat> yeah, it was amazing up there. It was amazing. it was stunning. And like I said, I felt better, and the inspiration, and the flowers. The flowers are still blooming. I mean, then we get back uh, here, and everything... I mean, we're, Utah is a desert, so what do I expect? But everything is already pretty much dead around here. Everything's... Because it's yeah. fall. It's the end of fall. So everything's dead. But there, everything's alive. Like, people are still working in their gardens there. It's just, it blows my mind. I just, I don't know. I'm ready yeah. to move. Let's move. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was really inspiring. I don't know. Just broadened my horizons. So, anyway, this was lots of fun. We're already 15 minutes over. But I had fun. I hope you guys had fun looking at our family pictures. And we sure appreciate all of your support. And we just love hanging out with you guys. We have lots planned for you. We'll be back next Wednesday. We do have a little conundrum. So I'd like you to post below what you think we should do. Um, not this coming Wednesday, but the next Wednesday is Halloween. And, you know, we usually have a live event every single Wednesday. 
But what should we do? It's Halloween. Do we want to have an event on Halloween? Or do we want to do it on a different day? Or do we want to just have a short event? What would you guys like change to do? Change the time. We yeah. could change the time, do it earlier in the day. Or we could do it the next day. Um, comment below. Let us know what you would like to do for um, the 31st for our live event. And make sure you're following us over in our Facebook group because we're going to be going over and asking you guys what you would like me to draw for your next Halloween coloring page. I just released three, but I would like to draw something else for you guys, and I would like you guys to tell me what to draw. So go on over to our Facebook group, make sure you're following us, and make sure you're active over there so that you can participate in telling me what to draw. So, should be fun. This is Steve's idea. He wants to put you guys into the, <laughs> the drawing chair. <laughs> drawing seat? Yeah. yeah, you were thinking probably seat. Something yeah. Like the driver's seat, you the know, the drawing seat. seat. Yeah. He wants to make you guys the boss. <laughs> yeah, because she's usually the boss. I'm the boss. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you guys are great. Thanks for everything and have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye bye, everybody. Bye.